Hi, it's Liz. Today we're going to be embroidering these little doggies, which are super, very, very cute. And there's more of these little doggies in this collection. So some of them did have a problem snagging and everything. But I did figure out how to duplicate a pattern. So I have a Janome Memory Craft 500E on this machine. I figured out that you can duplicate. So I have these two dogs up here. I can duplicate that so it reverses the image so I don't have to keep importing the same file in there. So I also figured out you can save the image which is amazing so I can make modifications and changes and then I can come back to those patterns which is really essential because this essentially then is kind of a stepping stone to the software because I don't have embroidery software I am just using bot files and this machine so it says for these four dogs I'll be using 140 millimeter by 140 millimeter and it'll take 45 minutes but because I'm not doing all this color like green or pink into the ears I'm just literally using the tracing pattern it's gonna take far less time. So if you're new here, these are felties. What are felties? It's embroidery on felt. So you can use them for stories, felt stories. You could use them for hair clips if you wanted to. There's lots of different videos. So a couple days ago, I went to the fabric store and they have felt by the meter. And I didn't get the heavy or medium weight felt because I felt it was a little bit too thick for what I needed to do with the felty. So what I did is I figure out what embroidered designs I'm gonna be making with the felt, and then I cut it down to those three sizes. So I have a small size for the cupcakes, I have this size for this uh, 140 millimeter hoop, and then I have the next size up, which is a 200 millimeter by 200 millimeter. So I did that for all my felt. So it just really streamlines it so I don't have to stop and start for each individual project. I would normally probably use black, but I am also waiting for a shipment of thread because I'm almost out of black and white. It goes very quickly. There's so many projects that I use black and white for. It's actually kind of insane how much you actually use it compared to the rest of the colored thread. So I have my tearaway stabilizer hooped up. I'm going to use some 505 adhesive spray and I'm going to spray it down on the front and then also on the back. And if I was doing any of the color detail on this dog, I would first do all that detail just on the front and then when I get to the outline, I would then put the felt on the back. But just because I'm doing the straight outline, I'm going to be doing the felt on the front and the back. So it is complete. So the thing about the modifications on the machine is that I'm not able to like delete a color or anything. So it's the end of the day here. When I put it in, I just started, you know, start. And of course it started to do, this is the white underlay that you can do with the dogs. And then you can do colors over top of it. So I was like, what is it doing? And then, you know, realized that I have it on the wrong setting. So really nice though. All the rest turned out really cute. So now I'm gonna choose a different dog. I'm gonna show you that setup and process. So this is the design that I just did. I think it maybe took, I don't know, 15 minutes to do that one. I'm not 100% sure just because you skip so many of the colors. So you can see up here I have the two dogs and then it's mirrored image. So uh, let's go and we'll make a new design. So we'll go there. We can just delete them individually. And then we're back to the 140 100 by 140. You know, if I wanted to choose a different hoop size, I could do there, but we're just going to stick with that. So I'm going to open up my file, go to my USB stick, and this one is in Dog Breeds 18. So the dog page is up. 
we got the Beagle, we got the Bichon, and then look, it has 12 other pages, and these are all different sizes. So I'm actually doing the smallest one on these Felties. Uh, I forget what size, let me show you this one. I made a big, big patch just to try it out, and it's just, it's pretty big. But that would be, say, really nice on a shirt or a bag or something. So we are going to do a Beagle. We're going to choose the beagle and place the beagle and we are going to just add another beagle. So now there's two beagles. So we do want to give the beagles a little bit of room from each other because we are going to be cutting around the beagles. So then just down here I'm going to hit the next button and then the next button and then the next button. And then there's these hearts, like that. And then, whoop, I must have hit it twice. I don't have, know where the back button is. No, that's correct. No. Nope. What did I do? I must have hit it twice. Is that just one file or two? All right, so then they... <laughs> So I did it right, and I'm just going to reposition them a little bit further from each other. And if I wanted to save this design, then I would go to this folder. So I have the option to save it to my machine in the embroidery file. Or I can go into my USB stick, and I can save it in there too. All right, so I'm pressed OK at the top. When I go back in there, there's Beagle. So that's nice. Go back. Well, we can exit it. And we are back to the screen. All right, so I'm going to press OK. So it's telling me again, 47 minutes. This time I will time it and I'll tell you how much it is. So I'm not gonna make the same mistake like I did on the first one, and this is just the next button, so it's telling me one, which would be the underlay for the white on the dog, which we're not doing, we're not doing any of these colors, so I just press this button, and it moves on to the next color, but your presser for it needs to stay up. So I know the black is the outline border, so that's where I'm gonna be starting on number five. So once again, I've got my felt on the top, felt on the bottom. It's got the temporary 505 adhesive spray used on it and now we're going to start the process on the outline setting. So the first one is complete and it took seven minutes for the first one. Another cute one down. Let's go on to the next dog. So as you can see, I also saved that 4-1 of the Beagle into my USB. I'm going to do the Bichon next. I'll show you some of the other dogs that are in here. So we have the Beagle, the Bichon, we have the Border Collie, we have the Boxer, we have the Bulldog, we have the Corgi, and the Chihuahua. And we have the Dijon and the Frenchie. The Frenchie, the little one we did, this one. Got the German Shepherd, we've got the Husky. We've got the Labrador. We've got the Maltese and the Poodle. We've got the Pug Stitch and the Golden Retriever. Got the Shih Tzu and the Yorkshire. All right, and that's it. We're back at the beginning. I got the felt, the tearaway stabilizer, and another piece of felt underneath. Well, guess what day it is? It's the next day because last night I tried to do and complete this one and of course I forgot to hit the next button again. I could have just let it run, but yeah, I was just after I did that, that's the second time I've done them, and I was just done for the night. 
So I'm gonna pick up and do some more dogs. I'm excited because a bunch of blank clothing I'm gonna be trying to embroider on just came in today and all of my thread. So just something to note when you are mirroring your images that these ones are little boxers and they have the tails. So when you actually cut them out, the tails are on the opposite side as the other ones. So just something to note if you're gonna mirror your images. So I did four dogs and they turned out so cute. This will be a four set collection. All right, so I wasn't able to find this color felt again. So this will just be a one-off collection, but of course I'm going to be making more of these dogs in other colors. But this color with the purple will just be a one-off collection and then just have some standalone ones to sell. So let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite. Please like and subscribe and I shall talk to you later. Bye!